Who's close by? Chuck, I feel you. Where are you, brother? There's his yes. And I know, I know Big Brother's got to be close by. So I felt him right over there was so big. Where are you at, Junior? Hanging back? He said hanging back. He has a real fear now. Yes, thank you. He has a real fear now of um, doing just that. <laughs> yeah, hanging back my butt. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You're not in trouble. It's okay, brother. It's okay. If it gets any hotter, I'm going to have to hunt up a five-gallon bucket of nair and bring out here. Nair? <laughs> nair, yeah. Those big woolly boys and girls, they got to be sweating it as hot as it's been. I don't know, though. Yeah, that'd be kind of weird looking, having a bunch of overgrown gargantuan red-butt baboons running around out here in the woods. naked big people. You hear it? Mm-hmm. We've been hearing them a lot lately. Well, they have been breaking these trees, these little saplings about as big around as my ankle and forearm all over the place back here. This week has been crazy. We have got the super moon and all week long back behind the duck pens where the big pasture is. I've been hearing the whoops and knocks and right now I've got a camera with all the electronic equipment set up back there, the EMF meters and I've got that um, EVP thing running and we'll go check it out in just a little bit but I wanted to walk through this side of the woods just to show you all the stuff that's down on the ground now. We haven't had any storm to speak of that would do this. This has no. all been by them. I think I came out, what was it, a couple weeks ago, and I looked out here and I said, where are all the trees? I mean, <laughs> it was just bald. And speaking of naked.
we're willing to attribute whatever, you know, certain limbs to weather, but whole trees, we haven't had anything this close that we wouldn't have heard snap, crackling, popping or something. Oh, that's just it. Usually it's happening between like one o'clock and five o'clock in the morning. You know, you guys saw Gunner, our big um, livestock guardian dog, a couple of videos ago, and it's gotten to the point where he just stays up in the chicken yard at night because this has got so much activity going on back here. He's not even wanting to venture out into it. Yeah, if he's got a direct scent on coyote or something, it seems like it overrides his concern for this area. But he doesn't he doesn't venture back here unless he just has to. He doesn't really act afraid of it, it's just more of a what would you and call it? This it's more looks, of a looks like respect. a highway through here. Mm -hmm. Look. There's a perfect foot right there in the middle of it. The ground's really dry. So the impression's a little different than it is when it's muddy. Well, I hope it's they'll walking. forgive me because I didn't realize I had the zoom mode partially on when we first started, so I guess everything looked kind of up close and personal. <laughs> I was seeing them, of course when I say seeing them, some of that's more physical, some of it less so, this afternoon and I was taking pictures and they're just so very present. You know, a lot of the events the last week with the admission to the, what is it they call them now, UAPs? But, no, you just the old school, the UFOs and Thank the aliens, you. just call it what it I is. I don't like all this new stuff. In fact, that's a whole nother conversation talking about um, timelines. But it was very much um, in line with all of that admission. And while I strongly feel we've gotten the very bare minimums of admission it seemed like they became more present like okay gigs up you know <laughs> it's funny to me probably not funny to other people now well, this has always been highly active back here since the beginning of our experiences with it it just seems like there's periods where it really, really ramps up, and this week, especially with this full moon coming mm -hmm. in, this super moon's been extremely active. Potent. <laughs> Very potent. We have um, our guardian cat walking trail with us. <laughs> Which is funny because I have no idea where the dog's at, but... But all of this is just down. I mean, in spots. It's it, not even all of it. It's just in group. It's just cleared out like they've been having a party back here. Hmm. Wouldn't be the first time we've seen that, but... Hoping to get a 
a little bit of eye shine or some vocals up in here. Like I said, I took the other equipment and took it clear around the back side of the where we have all the poultry and animals and stuff and at the end of where the duck pens are. Sometimes that pasture opens up and the other day I was back there and you could hear the knocks and the whoops coming from across the field. And tonight it just seemed like a good place to sit all that equipment out. I don't know if it would work, but sometimes if I walk ahead of you and I turn, they'll be right behind me. Well, Do you have the small light? I don't want this big one. Those white lights are kind of making them a little shy anyway. So I am going in which way do I want to go, guys? Yeah, I've got that great big light from William, that big trailblazer. The thing will burn the retinas out of your eyes if just, you look at it. I'm just going to walk to where I feel led, so bear with me. Hey, guys. Who's home? There it is. I just got showered. I'm hoping as I get closer to their energy that... I don't get interference because it often happens. <sighs> okay. Which way? I don't think I need this light. Hey, babies. Friends. Okay. So I'm trying to feel who's present. And I definitely feel more than one Sobe. I feel Sobe. Hello, brother. You said long time no see. Yes. All is well. And I was getting um, a little bit of download. Of right here in front of you. Mm -hmm. Both of those broke off right there in front of you. Mm -hmm. I was getting some information about Davi Da. And he and his partner. can't really say wife because it's not the same as we celebrate partnership. They'd gotten a little one. I believe it was November that they were relaying um, about the 26th and it was a little boy and he gave me the name Ishtar and I have her name but I feel hesitant to give it at this moment until I have his permission. A lot of stuff going on back here. I'm not sure. And said the dog doesn't come back up in here that we know of. Obviously the trail hunting cat does. He's had his nose to the ground. Which totally cracks me up. Hmm. Your buddy's here. Jonas Jr. Hello. His energy, it almost feels like I'm being tickled. I don't know how to explain it, but it makes me want to laugh. He is so fun. Now, I'm looking right there. You're standing in the middle of it. and We don't mm -hmm. have any feral hogs or pigs back in this area at all. But look at that. That just looks like something big. Just either laying out or sitting and Just taking a dirt bath <laughs> I 
I wish I were just a little taller. Maybe I could see what the imprint These guys are just remarkable. I felt a certain sense of relief when all of this was announced this week. It felt very timeline, very specific. What is, back up for a second? I don't know, just looks a little odd. But, kind of a pinnacle point, you know, they've been patiently waiting. And I don't feel like it's just the big guys. I think a lot of energies have been patiently waiting for this point to come. But the further we go on, up here, the further we go, The more we hear about Project Blue Beam and all of these other organizations. And you know, Anku had brought up more than once that we needed to be very, very, very aware of the holographic capabilities that we have up by the big tree. And that it's essential that we feel the truth rather than assuming that anybody is telling us the truth. Okay. There. Alright, so this finger of the woods hooks around and joins up to the back pasture and we've got the old fence here and that's where we're at now. This is about where all the sounds have been coming from is this back corner. That old boy's been there a minute, hasn't he? Yeah. They like this tree a lot. They're telling me they love this tree. But you know, a lot of trees, look, right here, look, glyphs. Trees very much, many, act as portals of energy. Older they are, the better. This one's not quite as old as a few that we've come across, but no baby. They said no baby. Well, let's hike around to the other end and go back behind where the birds are. I've got that equipment I need to check on and see what's going on with it. Let's see, we'll if we see can... you guys there in just a minute. I don't know how that turkey manages to sleep like that. <laughs> wakey, wakey. <laughs> oh, man. Tell you what, boys and girls, even this late at night, this air is just like a hot, wet blanket. Yeah, and everybody's getting it, and it's global. I mean... I was kind of joking around the other day, and yet I didn't feel like it was a joke that Mother Earth was breaking a fever, discarding oh, a lot of this old energy. Well, there's a brief look at some of the complex back here, and there's more beyond this. Old it's, Gunner, he's been staying up here. He's not been wanting out there in the big woods. He listens. If the birds sound off a certain way, he knows something's wrong or if he catches scent. This is always a work in progress and it got really dry really quick. Of course the ducks are making racket now because we're back here with this light. Mm -hmm. But when it's dark out and I just come stand or sit on the back porch and listen, you'll hear them go off maybe every 30, 35 minutes. Why are you even crowing? <laughs> Good night. But this thing's been running now for probably, what, a half hour, 45 minutes. 
the EMF meter before I went and got this camera and we walked out in the woods. It was just going crazy. That light. Now some of those voices are real familiar. There he goes. There he goes, Gunner. Some of those voices are real familiar right there from mm -hmm. the big guys, and some of them I've, I've never heard before. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Gunner. I just heard I just it say. Heard it on, yeah. Say Gunner. They're trying to calm him. Gunner, come on. He won't hurt you guys. He ran right off into the woods. Well, you we know he from. won't hurt you. Don't hurt him either. Mm. The very woods we said he wouldn't go into. <laughs> all right, you got William's torch. Mm -hmm. We got the torch. This is another favorite tree. It's a good boy, Gunner. It's a good boy. It's all right. They're not here to hurt you. Not here to hurt us. There, that's what I was looking for. And usually this is what Gunner does when he's unsure of a person or anything. He'll come and stand right beside us. Just to make sure. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. It's that white light. There, one just moved through that opening mm -hmm. of the tree. That's what I say. It's that white light, though. They're not going to come really close with that white light. No, I'm just trying to catch some eyeballs. <laughs> it's okay. Nobody's here to hurt us. Nobody's here to hurt you. Nobody's here to hurt your birds. Now let's listen to this for a minute and see if anything. I'm going to turn these bright lights out. Much better. I just heard much better. They might might come up and work with the EMF detector. Sit down. Sit down right here. Sit. It's okay. I can't see from where um, the angle I'm at, but can you see what the numbers are on the... Um, it's really bouncing from... It just shot up. It was down around 120, you know, 0 0.12, and then it'll shoot up to like 0.3. There it went all the way down to one point. Gunner, come here and sit down. This is a different app than we usually use, but I clearly heard Gunner on it. <laughs> well, it picks up a lot of communication. you got to kind of pick through it because some of it sounds just like what we got on the 
one frequency we were using for the big guys, mm -hmm. but it also scans down to everything above and below that. A lot of stuff comes through on this, so this is kind of cherry pick the ones that sound like them. The light effects are interesting to me on there because if you watch it, you have to wonder if that's essence, you know, picking up on the. When we use the other EVP app, it translates perfectly, but it, we have to adjust the pitch and the speed. And what comes to mind with that is that when they're sending it, if they're dimensionally, if there's a dimensional barrier, it actually translates into perfect English. But if there's a dimensional barrier, I feel like it... Um, create some adjustment to that frequency to where we're getting it in a pitch and a speed that we can't easily translate with our ear in this 3D, for lack of a better way to put it. One of the things that's been happening a lot this week, especially, she calls them mirroring images or translucent images. Like you'll see, oh, we talked about this a long time ago. I called them the shimmerings, but it was, uh, you know, you can see the full outline and partial features of the big guys, but it was almost like you were looking at a camouflage mirror. Well, it kind of looked like a CD shimmering in the sun, only it was a full body. And my conclusion on that was that it was reflecting the sun. And when they got to that shade line, then we were able to see more specific feature like arm, leg, and moving so quickly that it was really hard to slow that down and give it justice. But we've been seeing them around here in broad daylight. Where did you, where did you see? A lot of times you see it back here along the tree line behind the pond in the daytime mm -hmm. when I'm back here feeding and watering. And the other day I saw it, it was in front of the house near where a bigger barn is. And it was just as clear, <laughs> as clear as day, tall, you know, fair in stride. I didn't feel like it was at all bothered with the fact that I could see it, and I had every inclination to believe that it knew that I could see it. And I don't know which of the big guys it was. I did not ask because I was astounded for a moment. I don't know if giving an invite to work with the EMF detector could help them want to come up closer. I think they drew back a little bit with Gunner present because it was making him uncomfortable. He's right behind us laying down, so he's fine. Can you guys come up and tickle the EMF lights?
And it may be that he's still closer than, you know, that he may not be comfortable if they came straight up. But if you guys want to, I feel like Gunner will be fine if we're fine. My hearing was a little better so I could hear what's being said on that. You know, this um, property's been around for a little while, so it's hard telling in entirety. Notice the color range is changing. But, um,. There could be a lot of old energies. Now it's spiking again. You guys want to come up? You are more than welcome. Gunner's not going to bother you. Sometimes, even with um, the other EVPs that we've recorded, sometimes they're speaking with us, and then other times we've caught them having conversations between each other. And at first it seems unusual. It really isn't. But it's almost like overhearing a conversation, if you will. And sometimes there's a debate as to proper action. Not really a straight out fight or anything, but. think they like the other um, frequency more? Well, they might. I wanted to try this just to see what it would generate. You know, that's the way it goes with a lot of this. Most of the time you have brief moments of, wow, did you catch that or did you hear that? Separated by long drawn out periods or this is just kind of boring, you know? Well, it's all experimentation and it's all finding frequency or something that resonates equally. I know they, we get a lot of response with the regular EVP, but we also get response with the radar app. And it's almost like it brings out the show-off part in them. Well, give me a second to change all that around and we'll turn it on and see if there's any difference. Won't hurt. There it goes. I don't know what it is about that with that. It's just operating on a different frequency. It's easier for them to manipulate it. And you guys come on up come here, on. guys. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Kids, babies, if you want to come up. No, it won't bother you. Thank you. Now the EMF lights are going. 
Come on up. They really like, I, like it may be what you said, the frequency, but there's something that really works with this combination for them. Well, hello, come on up. You want to show yourselves? Thank you. Right there on the grid, and it's almost dead center to the phone, so it's right beside it on the right. There's another one. And the, as we talked about before, the strength, I feel like the strength of the energy is denoted in the color. Often blues will kind of signify oh, wow. elemental energies. Hello. The babies, the young ones, can you help me with that? Was that green? Yellow. Yellow will often be the youngest or the smallest dots. And what about the bigger green clusters? I feel like the bigger green they're saying is when there's more than one of them standing essentially side by side, so it gives it greater mass. The red ones would be the biggest of the, thank you, the red ones would be the biggest of these energies like Anku or Davida or Sobe or would you gentlemen be willing to present yourselves if you're present? So, Bay, you were speaking earlier. I saw a red dot a little bit ago, back toward the back here, near where that big tree would be. I thank you for acknowledging. Thank you. So, a lot of times when they're acknowledging us, we notice that's when we'll see the orange and the red light up on the EMF detector. It's like a yes. If, the, if it stays just with the green, you know, just calm. If there's a specific question, oftentimes if there's no real activity, it will signify either a no or a not quite or something like this. Thank you. But, and who's up here playing? Took. Is that you, Took? Lily, I sense the young ones. I'm trying to figure out which. I haven't hit it. Miriam, there's the green dot. Thank you, Miriam. Miriam is Anku's youngest. Thank you. She was really hesitant with this. When we first started working with it, it was almost like they had to hold her hand to get her to want to touch it. And now she's fixated. Interestingly enough, the motion detector light just went off here behind me. I know, and there's nothing really nothing moving, moving there in front of it to cause it that we can see with our eye. Yeah. But it'll go on and off. So if you see, there it goes again. If you see a glare, yes, <laughs> and they're confirming. Now, a lot of times, too, when we only see orange on there, that's a younger energy that's not as, call it, forceful. Um, it might just be gently approaching or touching. Yes, thank you. And then when you see the red, that's a stronger energy or one that's got a little more presence. Who's close by? Took, I feel you. Where are you, brother? There's his yes. And I know, I know Big Brother's got to be close by. So I felt him right over there was so big. Where are you at, Junior? Hanging back? He said hanging back. He has a real fear now. Yes, thank you. He has a real fear now of um, doing just that. Yeah, hanging back <laughs> my butt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's okay. You're not in trouble. It's okay, brother. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. This is exactly what he was just starting to say, was he has a real fear of disrupting... I don't know here on the settings. Of disrupting the equipment. 
Um, you may have to help me here. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we're gonna have to, no? Put my eyes on here. Alright, we're going. I thought this was below it, though. I guess not. In between, you have to slide the... Okay, I know you're right here. I can feel you. It's okay. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. That's exactly what it said. I'm having some difficulty with this. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm half afraid to get up to fix it for you because we're getting too much good stuff now. <laughs> it's okay. I'll get it. Might take me a second. It's okay. It's okay. He's... I keep hearing, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. I promise. No harm, no foul. Okay. I don't know if we're in there or not. <laughs> Is that too much of an angle? No, it's fine. Please. If you touch it, just be, yes, if you touch it, just be gentle. Thank you. So what he was, <laughs> before we had all this excitement, I don't feel like I have it in an angle you might need. Can you see it okay? Yeah, it's fine. So. Okay. I think you knocked the other camera off. You bumped into it. The um, camera that's recording. See, it's all daddy wampus it. now. Okay. There you go. Maybe. Okay. So, just as I was speaking with him, I was just catching the thought that he was saying he was hanging back because he was concerned about the equipment because our buddy has notoriously I say this with all the love in my heart killed batteries or created you know, let's just say interesting his effects his, his energy <laughs> exceeds his space and he's just got that much energy and it's wonderful and he was just beginning to say that he was concerned about the effect he could have on the equipment and then boom so there you go you you can come back up it's okay nobody's in trouble you know we've already stretched this video out yeah. long enough but there's so much stuff that came to the surface and came to light you know in the last week to two weeks that I really, really want to talk about a lot of that stuff, but I really also need to formulate it correctly before I lay it out there, my thoughts on a lot of these things that, you know, are being disclosed and talked about and how it aligns with a lot of the other things that are going on. They're saying yes. And I'm, I'm feeling them saying we'll help. Like, they'll, they'll be glad to contribute if we need that or want that. All right. Thank you, guys. Well, not that I want to see the stuff knocked over again, but that's kind of cool. That it was just a win. <laughs> that was um, perfect. And he is a little... I don't think he does this stuff on purpose as far as anything that could be potentially damaging. But I do think that he really, really likes to be seen or acknowledged, I think is a good word for it, because he's always been our joker. He's always been. Now, Took can be a practical joker, too, but I honestly believe that he's learned it from his brother. I've uh, been kind of keeping one ear toward the pond because usually when you hear the frogs go silent, when it all goes dead silent, they're actually walking up close to here. Mm -hmm. 
you guys are welcome to come back up and touch it. No, nothing got hurt. Oh, we're all the way up. We're we're spiking on the radio way or the hmm, bottom one. All right, on the RF mm -hmm. meter. On the RF meter at the very bottom, which it's almost impossible for you guys to see the numbers, but we were spiking upwards 400 and some. So energetically, I may have hit something on that radar. Because it's getting, it's kind of acting weird. Well, something weird's happening with my screen here on the camera because I keep seeing a flash on it that's not what I'm used to seeing. Boom. Oh, and there, look. What in the world? Phone went off. EMF detector started going off. All right, something goofy's going on here. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bring it in, guys. It's okay. Come on. We got some big energy. I can feel it in my body. Hi, who's here? Well, with the naked eye looking out to the left, I don't see anything other than the airplane that went through there. But there was flashing going on across the screen like lightning, and there's no lightning in the sky. It's clear, the stars are out, the moon's out. Energy. Energy flashes is what but I'm hearing. But it's on the camera screen on my monitor. There it went again. Come on. It's okay. Be present. We accept. Oh, and when I say we accept, understand that I learned a long time ago with Sobe when he was first learning to communicate and trying to gain our, call it friendship. He kept calling me back and forth, asking me to step up. And I was, and I'd come back to the camera and then I'd hear it again and I'd go back in and it was this whole thing. But what he was saying on the EBP was, do you accept? me and it took it took me a minute to realize that was their way of saying can we be friends you know because we had not formally met him and I think it was essential that he had our permission anyone close well they've shut the phone off Mm-hmm. Well, everything it's on, else but the gone. app's gone. <laughs> no, I mean, everything else has gone flatline, mm -hmm. so... I guess we're going to wrap this up for now, guys. Yeah, I think that, that was their good night. The great big flash across the EVP, or the EMF detector at the top. Something called them out of the area, or... You know, a lot of times they're aware of things we aren't. So we're going to trust that. But even the bottom gauge is well below point one. It's like half of what it was, so. All right, so let's call this a night, and we'll see you guys later next time down the trail. Thanks Have a good for night. stopping in. Thank you.